Okay guys, today we're going to be doing a pretty quick review on the, on the Phoenix LD30 flashlight. Now, if you watch my video on EDC Essentials, you'll say you'll probably be familiar with this little guy already because in that video, even though I don't usually make recommendations on gear in Essentials videos, I made a recommendation on the LD30. But I thought that more than just making a recommendation in that video, I would break it down into its own review and actually talk about this flashlight a little bit because I think that this little guy, especially in light of some of of like Olight's recalls and such, this little guy really shines. And honestly, I think that this flashlight has the potential because it is from Phoenix to be overlooked. And I know that some of the flashlight makers out there, such as Streamlight, Surefire, and Phoenix, they're a little bit older uh, brands in the flashlight game, and therefore they have this tendency, like they're not very prominently promoted by YouTubers or by ads in and of themselves. So these brands end up getting overlooked, even when they have really sound, really quality, uh, you know, gear or, you know, flashlights in this case that are actually better than the competition. Okay, so guys, this is Matt from the future. Just reminding you that if you want to see more Alaskan gun, EDC, survival, and bushcraft content, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave a comment and a like while you're at it. Without any further ado, let's jump into the LD30. So this tiny little flashlight is about four inches. You know, it's about the same size as something like a Benchmade Bug Out. So to give you guys some size comparison here, you know, it is a little bit longer than the Bug Out. Hopefully you guys can see it there. But by and large, this thing is about the same size as your average pocket knife. And that's really impressive for me in the fact that it still carries uh, a 18650 is one 18650 is pretty awesome. So that was what initially attracted me to the LD30 was it's a reasonably small size, or actually I would say a pretty small size. You know, it will fit easily in a pocket and, you know, like I said, about the same size as a pocket knife or an average pocket knife. And uh, that really goes a long way because uh, for what I'm going to get into next, the power, you know, having a flashlight that is this small with that level of output is really impressive. So getting to the output before we go too much further, the max output or the turbo mode, which will last about 1.3 hours, is 1600 lumens on this guy, which is really pushing it for a very small flashlight. Now, I'm not sure it would get to that 1.3 hours because this thing does get pretty darn hot pretty darn fast but I have not necessarily tested that runtime but I do th I will say that you know for 1600 lumens it can definitely last long enough and shine bright enough for you to see anything you need to see uh, at that level of output now of course this thing does have five levels of output starting at 30 lumens so like that's 30 lumens and then it steps up one and I think that that's like a hundred something lumens I think 130 or 150 then it steps up into 300 ish lumens and then the next one is jumps up to 800 and then of course 1500 lumens so or sorry 1600 lumens not 15 uh, so those are the five output modes there and uh, of course I'm not going to really bore you guys with the specs of those run times because it's very easy to go on their website or really anywhere and find the uh, run times and outputs. I just know the approximate uh, outputs and run times. So anyways, it is a really awesome package. Like I said in my uh, essentials video, I think that this video or I think that this flashlight is really worth taking a look at. It is a little bit more on the spendy end. Uh, being that it's about $80, it's like $79.95. But if you get it on something like Amazon, you might be able to find it lower or use gift cards, you know, to get it uh, cheaper. That's what I did. So in fairness, you know, you can certainly get it for less, but it is a little bit more on the expensive end of the flashlight spectrum. But in my opinion, even if you have to pay $80 for this flashlight, you know, getting 1600 lumens in about a four inch package is really impressive. And everything is pretty much just like a normal Phoenix flashlight, you know, you have good, you have a good clicky switch on the back, no problems, very positive, doesn't really have any issues. Uh, you know, I haven't experienced any slippage or any failure with this. Um, and then you have your 
uh, kind of mode switch here on the side and in addition to that the mode switch is the battery indicator so hopefully you guys can see how it's flashing green so of course the different uh, flashing green or flashing red or solid green uh, indicates the battery life this is a little bit used so it flashes green I think three or four times letting me know that it's not at its highest but it's still very high so uh, that's kind of a battery mode life indicator and like I said that is the way that you switch between your modes and of course holding this down uh, will produce the um, strobe and the strobe is varying so for self-defense if you have to use this it will switch and so whoever you're trying to blind temporarily with this won't get used to one particular rhythm now if you hit it again uh, if you hit that mode switch again once it's in strobe yeah, so once it's in strobe mode, uh, if you hit it again, it will switch over to the SOS. So hopefully you guys can see that. So this is its SOS mode, and it bumps it down to uh, the lowest light. So this is like at 1600 strobe, and then SOS is like at 30 lumens. So either way you can use it, and of course, like I said, to get into those modes, you just turn the flashlight on, you hold down the mode select to get into strobe, and then if you want to get over to SOS, you just click the mode select again, and to turn it off, of course, you just hit the clicky switch on the back. So that's the basic manual of operations to this little flashlight. Um, overall, I don't have, I haven't experienced any problems with it. I do like it. The only thing I kind of dislike about it, and it's definitely not just this flashlight, is I've really never been a fan of these dual uh, pocket clips. So the pocket clip is kind of in two parts. There's the, the normal part that kind of bends down like you'd expect, and then it bends back. So you could hypothetically, you know, clip this to the brim of a hat or clip this on something and use it as a headlamp. But in my experience, um, I've never really had much success with being able to do that. You know, when you clip this to a hat, it's kind of like you get a half-rate headlamp, and it's not very effective. You know, it's certainly no replacement for a headlamp. It's kind of more just like an emergency or in a pinch you can do that. So I guess I appreciate it, but I don't particularly like this clip style just due to the fact that whenever clips are made this way, that ends up putting the end that kind of sticks out, like the end of the clip, which is you know, pushing out at about the top of the clip. So I found that with clips like this, they can snag and catch on things while in your pocket. So I'm not a huge fan of that, but at the same time, I guess it is nice to have that in a pinch. And I suppose with how easy you can pop these clips off, if you wanted to manufacture or make your own clip, you could do that too, but I don't know. I'm probably not gonna do that. It is an option though. Um, but that is the clip, and I think a lot of people that like flashlights like this version or style of clip. I've just never personally been a fan of it. Like I said, it's not something that only Phoenix does. There's a lot of companies that do this. So anyways, that is basically the Phoenix LD30. Uh, I think it's a really great flashlight. Like I said, I'm super impressed with the fact that they are able to make such a powerful flashlight in such a small package. I mean, I can't get over the fact that it's nearly the size of a, you know, average pocket knife and still has 1600 lumens of output. I mean, my last Phoenix, I think it was the UC35, was a much larger flashlight than this, and it only produced 1000 lumens. And, you know, there's been, for quite a while, flashlights around the UC35's range that have produced, you know, 1,100 to 1,000 lumens, and that was just kind of the standard. So, definitely impressed with this flashlight. I think for the size, you know, the roughly 4-inch uh, realm, this is one of the most powerful flashlights, because Olight's flashlight, not to pick on them too much, I believe they're like uh, SR2 baton, is 1,500 lumens, and it's about the same size as this. So you get an extra 100 lumens with this one, and, you know, it's about the same size. So no fancy colors, but you do get a little bit of copper uh, on the face of it. But, yeah, so anyways, guys, that is the LD30. Definitely recommend you guys check it out and see what it's... Definitely recommend you check it out and at least look into it. It's definitely, I think, a pretty quality flashlight, and I was very impressed with Phoenix when they dropped this. So, anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.